found the clover. Clover is open now. Relaunch one shot. Here we go. Okay, I'm back. Clover is open. I can't get it to show on screen. Let me get that mouse out of the way. Xenofire? Xenofire, can you hear me? Yes, yeah, I can hear you. I told you I'd be right back. Oh, whew. What happened? Everything went pitch black for a second. I know, I forced closed the application. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, computer? The code is contained within a document. The document has found a place. It belongs outside the game. Do you know where to find documents? Yeah, I do. Good, start looking. Don't, don't worry. I got this, I got this. Um, yeah, that's right, I'm still looking for... Oh. Yeah, I'm still looking for the code specifically. Documents, my game's one shot. Okay, okay. Ugh, Windows 10, why you gotta be all file explorer -y? Documents. Document one shot. Dear name, this is, let me see if I can get this on screen. Jesus, this looks crazy. Ooh, okay. Message to you. I'm afraid I must make it brief. I have left you a journal, part of which is written in a language that read it and you will know what to do. I also left you a mask you look for a metal safe in the quarry to the east somewhere between the ocean and the lookout point the code you need is 306755 okay Nico we know where to go lookout point right uh, actually no we can go to the cliffs yeah, there we go. It's in... Travels in alphabetical order. And not, like, in order of place found. So I kind of have to really... I guess not really think... About where I'm going. Ah! The safe is this way! Metal safe. Seems it's locked with a six-digit code. I don't remember seeing any six-digit code somewhere. Don't worry. I got this. Three, zero, six, seven... Five. Five. Whoa, it worked! Wait, how did you know the code, Xenofire? I still don't remember seeing one. I s I had some help. Really? From who? Don't worry about it. Okay. What's in the safe, Nico? Oh, right. Let's see. <gasps> I found a gas mask. Also, there's this weird looking book. Yeah, it's written in a language, right? I can't read it though. Not that I can't read or anything, because I can. I just don't know what language this is in. Oh, what is that? What is that? Is that a glitch? I don't like it. I'll wear it when I have to. Strange journal found in the barrens written in an unknown language. Yeah, that's the journal that this person left me. Alright, now that we have a gas mask, let's go north. I should prefer this gas mask on. <laughs> Towers are still active here. There's a grass vent. Another building. Oh, robots on. Hello, person! Welcome to the old chemical processing plant. Most of the equipment has already been relocated. Most, but not all. What is this? It's a pair of rubber gloves. They're a bit heavy. Cool. Hello, robot. Seems to be a page ripped out of a book. 
cannot overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in this environment. Here is a simple recipe of using the alternative method discussed in the last chapter, utilizing the natural properties of blue phosphor. Reagents, acidic gas, blue phosphor, rare form. Instructions. 1. In a well-ventilated area, direct the gas into your container of choice. Seal immediately. That's the end of the page. Hello, person. This robot assembly and repair services have been discontinued at the Barrens. If you have further inquiry, please contact the head engineer. That would be Silver. Or Silver's creator. Gas mask is back on. Let's traverse the traverse. Oh. Alright, going back up. Read it, and you will know what to do. Should I spend some time trying to figure out this journal? I wonder... I wonder if the journal's in my world. Huh. You will... find... stay in at first. That you will not... I've left in a language that you will not understand at first. However... On you, I'm reading. You will know what to do. Okay, I guess I don't have to worry about it right now. But we have it in case we need it. Another pagey. There's something weird about the robots who got sent to work near the gas fields. They appear to accumulate rust at a much slower rate than others. The few who work directly with gas harvesting look new, look practically new. Is that a result of the atmosphere? Am I just seeing things? Oh, maybe if I... Maybe if I use a bottle on one of these gas. I can use that to clear the rust. Gasman? Who Gasman? Can't reach the top scene of fire. So I need to find a vent that's... Low enough to the ground, maybe knocked on its side or something. And I have rubber gloves also. Oh, I'm in a new area that doesn't need the gas mask. Nine. Hello, do you need any help? I'm good, thanks. Alright, nine. Looks like they're evaluating the few tamed robots we have here. Makes sense. No point in keeping them in the barrens if all the people are already gone. I wonder if the engineer is going to... Apparently phase one of the evacuation ended prematurely. The big chips started malfunctioning only after a few round trips. They said it was due to something with squares? Not sure what they meant by that. Bummer. Looks like they won't be able to transport most of these surplus bots of the city at this rate. We worked so hard on those. I suppose the robots are busy enough with transport people, transporting people as it is. I think it's going to be our turn soon. It's a big ladder. I'm scared of ladders. Are you? I guess since there's nothing really up there. Okay. Tiny shrimp. Power cell. It starts running on this one too. It says guardian of the residential area. I wonder who is the guardian of the residential area. Some of the ink on this page is faded. Hold on a minute, take a drink. Much better. Likely due to some sort of electrical or magnetic interference. I'm afraid this operation can no longer be sustained. If the servers continue to fail so much that maintenance can't keep up the pace. 
Unfortunately, it does not seem to be happening to the robots. At least not, a, not at a significant rate. Time will tell. Checking, checking. Terminal does not respond. This is a problem. Pretty sure these are computers now. All of these terminals do not boot. I am not sure what to do now. Boop, 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 Ooh, a picture of a robot. You know, I've never been around so many robots before, Xenofire. Or any robots at all. I mean, I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen one in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? Hey, Nico, do a robot voice. Um, what? Try talking like a robot. Um, <clears throat> Beep boop, I am a robot and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. <laughs> that is not correct. Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess digestive systems. So robots, some robots do not even have mouths. Xenofire. You made me look silly. Sorry, Mr. Robot. Hello? Hi! What are you doing up there? I am stationed here. By yourself? Yes! Well... Good talk! Sorry, Nico. Hello, organic person who is alive. The infirmary is up ahead. Hello, infirmary. Infirmary. Hello, person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. Um, scan complete. Injuries detected, none. Treatment required, none. You are good to go. Um, thanks? It's a box of medical tools. Most of them are broken or rusted beyond use, but this plastic syringe seems to be okay. Plastic syringe. Hello, person. Are you seeking admission to the infirmary? No? Oh, carry on then. Are you just like messing with the- You're- <laughs> It's like playing with a rubber band or something. That's awesome. Hello, do you need any help? I'm good, thanks. Oh, more notes. Let's see if there's anybody up there. No? Okay. I know, Nico. Looks like we're supposed to pack stuff for the evacuation starting today. I wish these Burks, book Burks weren't so heavy. It's gonna be a pain to carry them onto the ship. But they're by the author. I can't just throw them away. Hey, sweetie, six more weeks until you come home. About time, huh? Gosh, I can't imagine living in that awful capsule dorm wall thing. But guess what? Soon you'll get ready to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon. Love, Mom. Aw. Oh, letters from Mom. No, I still don't need help. I just like talking with things. Robot. Broken robot. Okay, nobody up there this time. Evacuation in such short notice? I can't believe this. First the sun dies, now I'm out of a job. Some sort of medical, mechanical drawing. Hmm. Boop, boop, boop. So everybody left after the sun went out. I think we kind of knew that. Because if robots are here, then there were people to make them. But everybody was pulled specifically from the barons. Oh, hey! Thing on the ground. Initially, the amount of noxious fumes emitted by our natural gas vents caught our team off guard. Thank goodness the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite its failure, that first expedition did bring back some interesting observations about the barons. We found that there is not one, but two such vent zones. 
With fumes being pumped out at such high concentrations, it seems there's a miracle, miracle that gas hasn't spread anywhere else. Our biologists concluded that phosphor shrimp in the crater pools were actively consuming the gas. The shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from wafting off into the glen. And that, if that's the case, then we owe a lot to these little guys. Bottle. Yes. I want you to fill the bottle with gas. That ought to do it. Cork it up. Bottle of smoke. Still an unknown language, that journal. I have this clover box, like, active and in the corner of my screen. Just in case it starts moving or doing something. Oh, it's a maze to get back through here. Wait, so are all these little shrimp? Is that what those are? Oh. That make the most sense. And if I'm right, then robot should be... There you are. Okay, I heard that this melts rust. No? Um, okay. I need to go back to... Hmm. Alright, yeah, I need to go back to where that thing was. The, the formula page. Old factory? Oh. I don't really think I noticed this door. Yeah, let me take it off with the crowbar. Huh, what a workout. Lots of robots down here. Seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Two, without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. Shake vigorously to re initiate the reaction, use as soon as possible. Note, if the elements begin to separate, further shaking is required. Also note, hand protection is critical after this step. Resulting acid is moderately stronger than chemical household cleaners. I don't know what half of these words mean. It's a good thing you're here, Xenofire. A cleaning sponge with a rough surface. Um, flat sponge, rough surface. Okay, so we need to find the rare, the phosphorus sulfate rare form. Bunch of, bunch of rusty robots and then robots without power. Yeah, acidic gas we have. Blue phosphor rare form. Blue phosphor rare form. So where can I syringe me some blue phosphor? Oh! What the heck is this? So, we're filling up the syringe xenofire? I guess it's kind of like a funnel. But the liquid might be too thick to fit inside the needle. Hey, it actually went in! Gross! Okay, so that was the blue phosphor. Okay. And then... I need to shake it? And put on the gloves and give it to the dude. Robo. Robot 310. Okay, Nico, I know you can't really understand the directions, so I'm gonna go through it with you really fast. So, bottle of smoke, filled syringe. Yes. And then use the rubber gloves. Sponge. Yes, thank you for using the gloves, Nico. Okay. Rubber gloves. Wet sponge. Robot. Alright, hold still. I have no other choice. There! How's that? I can move again. Thank you, heart. I am able to fulfill my purpose again. Where would you like to go? Can you take me to the tower? Calculating. Closest destination to the tower is 
The Glen. Port number null. My built-in navigation circuits have fried. I'm gonna assume that's not good. This is- it is not good at all. Once again, I cannot f follow my programming. Aww. Is there anything I can do to help? In the event of an error, you should speak with the head engineer. She will know what to do. Ah. <sighs> Alright. Now to go talk to Silver. Look out, point. Is this Silver's house? Sick. Hi, Silver. Excuse me again, miss. I found a robot who can take me towards the tower, but it's having some trouble, so it told me to talk to you. All right. What is the issue? It said something about its navigation circuits being fried? Just the navigation circuits. Apparently. Xenofire and I fixed everything else, I think. Hmm. I have something that may help. Robots have the ability to trace material to their source locations. If you let the rowboat borrow this, its backup tracking system should activate. Oh, oh it's the clover! That's a very pretty necklace. What's it made of? Amber, found from the glen. What's the tiny thing inside the amber? The black clover. It's a common plant in our world. It's also... Huh? I'm not sure if I can bear to part with this. My programming says yes, but I still feel conflicted. Hmm? Never mind. You need to finish your mission more than I need a keepsake. Here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Silver. Before I go, is there anything I can do in return? Actually, do you know how to play chess. Yeah! Well, sort of. I played with some older kids before. Then, will you play a game with me? I mean, I don't know the rules very well, but I guess it's the least I could do. Yeah, we're gonna play chess! We're gonna play chess! Oh, I don't get to play chess. You're really good at this. Thank you. It was built into my code. Ah! So, what's it like? Being a robot and all. I've talked to other robots, and they all say something about programming and code and stuff. Even you did just now. It's a little hard to understand sometimes. I know. Most of the robots here are not tamed. Tamed? Watch out. There goes my bishop. Taming is complicated. Oh. How complicated exactly? Hmm. There goes my other bishop. I can't really explain what tamed robots are, but I am one of them. All the other tamed robots have been moved to the other regions. Exactly where, I don't know. Oh? Hmm. There goes my little horse. That's a knight, Nico. Knight. Right. Oh, have you ever been to any other regions? I hear there's two more. In the past, yes. I still have the data, the coordinates, the memories. I don't know how much of that still holds true. The world may be a different, very different place by now. Because the sun is gone? No. I said this already, didn't I? The sun probably won't save the world. The decaying started before the sun went out. The sudden, sudden death was really just the tipping point. Then things went south really fast after that. Oh. Then there's nothing I can do. Check. What? When did your queen get there? The only thing you can do is complete your pilgrimage. In a way, you are only supposed to be a second chance for the people. Just like how the barons was only supposed to be a second chance for me. There's no guarantee that things will work out. But... Checkmate. Huh. Alright. I guess I've kept you long enough. Thank you for listening. I hope you get home safely. Ah, and thank you also. <clears throat> Off you go. There's no reason for you to linger in the barrens. Bye, Silver. Thank you for the game. Xenofire wants to play you sometime. Alright, back to the entrance. That should be the closest spot to Robo. Robot. Robot! Ba ba da ba ba. 
and then I can give the amber necklace. And yeah, the uh, the black clover is the thing that the other robot is standing next to. Have you talked to the head engineer yet? She lives near the mine entrance. I would have given you the coordinates, but... Hmm... Yeah, um... Here, here's some amber. Hmm... Oh, this is amber from the glen. I can remember now. Activating tracking system. Setting course. Wait. This boat is over capacity. You'll need to leave behind some of your possessions. Oh. Well, I don't think I'll need this crowbar anymore. Or this gas, gas mask and gloves. Goodbye, stuff. That is acceptable. Onwards we go. Row. Row. Ah! Row. Row. It's so cute. I love the little pictures in this game. Row. 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 Oh, hi. Are you looking at me? 